Hey there, Moose Tube World. Long Moose here. I know, still shaggy, still gray, still old. Uh, back from the trip from Alaska. And it was a blast. I'd much rather be there than down here in this swamp of South Texas. Um, what I want to do right now is go through some reviews of some chest holsters. Uh, I have become an ardent fan of chest holsters, um, especially for bear moose protection up in Alaska. Uh, never worn a chest holster until uh, this trip up there. So I'm going to go through and review three holsters over the course of the next few videos. The first holster that I'm going to review is from Paradise Valley Leather in Montana. Uh, I actually shot the first part of this video uh, before I left to go to Alaska, so you'll hear how congested I was with the cold and everything going on at the time. Um, but I really like this holster, as you'll see when I go through the explanation of it uh, here in the Moose Den before I, I made the trip. Uh, but, you know, truth in advertising, I screwed up. Uh, while we were up in Alaska, and I wore this thing a lot, I never did take any uh, videos of me wearing it. So that's my bad. Uh, I was able to salvage like three photos uh, from one of the other videos where you can see it. And it's not bad. Uh, you know, it's interesting. Uh, but no, this, this holster has made an absolute believer out of me in chest holsters for uh, bear and moose protection in Alaska. Uh, you know, I've always been kind of a hip holster guy or a shoulder holster guy all the way back to my policing days in North Texas in the 70s. Um, and those are great for certain kinds of applications. But where you're up in the bush in Alaska, and like when Jim and I were stomping the back part of the property, there's all these little tiny creek channels, uh, you know, where snow melt runs off in the spring, and you can, half the time you can't see them, you trip in them. So if you got a holster on your hip and you happen to get scared by, uh, you know, startled by a bear or a moose, you fall backwards onto that holster. Now you've got your body weight sitting on top of it, or maybe you've got your arm pinned underneath you trying to get it out. Uh, that does not make for a good situation. So, absolute believer in chest holsters. Now, this holster from Paradise Valley, like I said, I did uh, get three, was able to salvage three photos out of it of me wearing it and the, the video clips before I left. And I'm also going to include at the end a copy of my order uh, so that you can see exactly how I ordered this thing from Paradise Valley. Uh, it cost me $120. And to me, that's probably the best $120 I've spent on anything firearms related in a long time. Uh, also, I've got a, you know, a stock photo or two from uh, their website that I'm going to put at the end here where it does show you how it fits across the chest. You know, and I'm no little guy. You know, I, I've got middle, late, very late middle-aged beer gut here that I have to deal with. And so when I was doing my walk around the property video, uh, if you've seen that one, uh, I had the holster strapped on the entire time. Uh, had on a t-shirt and a flannel shirt and then the holster on top of that and uh, kind of a lightweight jacket. So, I mean, it, it's perfect. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, and stay tuned for the next two holsters that will be related to the 1911 frame uh, pistol. Uh, if you like these kind of videos, please hit the like and subscribe. Uh, it's what keeps me motivated to keep making more videos for you. On the last few videos, I've put out a challenge to let's try and get me up to at least 50 subscribers by September 30th. Today is September 28th. I have 47. I need three more to go. So come on, people. Help me out here. Uh, let's get to 50, and then we'll set another goal for the end of October and so on so that my channel can grow a little bit. If you want to be notified when I post future videos, please hit the uh, little bell down below, and that way you will be notified every time I make one. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, hopefully you will really learn to appreciate the value of a chest holster. If you're going to Alaska, it's the only way to fly. Uh, Lone Moose here. Hope you enjoy this, and I will see you on the next video. Right, the holster we're going to look at right now is from Paradise Valley Leather Company, and I actually ordered off of their site, ParadiseValleyLeather.com. Uh, it's their chest holster for revolvers with thumb brake. Uh, and they actually did have a uh, match for my Raging Bull 454 Casual, and as you can see, Cylinder is empty, chamber is empty, so pistol is safe to be doing the demo I'm going to do here. 
uh, you know, when you look at this holster up close, it's got really good stitching in it. I used to do leather work back in my teens and 20s, and uh, so this is high quality. The connections right here are threaded so that they can be tightened up if they ever come loose. And the thumb brake, again, is a good quality. And to show you the fit of the pistol itself in the holster. And it is a bit snug. It's going to have to stretch out. It's new. You know, anything leather has got to be formed to the device. It's much easier to do this when you've got it on. A chest holster. So it will actually, you'll see when I put it on here in a minute. Uh, lays across your chest. But held in very secure and shaking it it's not going to fall out so if you're hiking through the the bush or you're uh, in a tree stand or anything you don't have to worry about dropping this thing it will be secured to your body so if you pull the pistol out it's just a matter of boom and pull and it, it, i really like this one this will probably be my first choice uh to try